Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video and the message is about creating consistency and getting back on the wagon once you've fallen off. So when it comes to working out, what you'll experience, and I'll use working out in this context in this way, you know, you'll you'll start building some good momentum, especially those first couple of weeks, right? You're, you come in with high hopes, you've worked yourself up to an, a point emotionally and energetically where you're just like ripping and like ready to go. You're all in five days a week, you know, meal prepping on Sundays and stuff and all this so what happens is that inspiration, that initial motivation will carry you and it will kind of get the ball rolling. You kind of need that little spark in the beginning just to you know, get you going, right? Get you out of the comfort zone. What often happens is, and this is inevitable, is that once that motivation is gone or maybe a life event happens or you know, maybe you've got a vacation or something you're gone for for a couple of days uh, and you get back and you worked up and you saw some progress, you know, when you were really on that initial motivation, then all of a sudden you find yourself thinking like, shit, man, this, this is hard to get back started. That initial motivation to be like, oh God, am I going back in? Like that was a lot of work. That was a lot of effort, you know, to get back to that place to where I initially was in order to just get started. So I'm here to tell you that you don't have to have that big burst of energy. Sure, it's nice. I'm sure it, it, it uh, you know, it helps you. But what I want you to understand is that the growth is in the ability to stay consistent and not lose sight of your goal long term when that initial motivation is gone. So, you know, this kind of goes back to a topic that I've talked about quite a few times this is about perfectionism. It doesn't have to be perfect for you to get back on the wagon and start eating right and start tracking your food and start working out. Nothing has to be perfect. Um, if you need a rest and you got to chill out and relax, that's fine. You got to take that rest. But in order for you to, you know, con consistently go at it, you've got to let go of the perfectionism for one. And then two, you've got to understand that any step forward is still a step forward. So you don't have to go right back into going five days a week, you know, if, if that seems like too much. Maybe you just focus on going one day this week and eating a, you know, one good meal. And that's it. Just step back on in the right direction and take a step forward and that will begin to grow over time. I bring this up because uh, me, even as a trainer, someone who's serious about their training, their body, you know, my business, what I'm building, uh, and this YouTube channel as well, you know, this past week, week and a half, I really took it off. Um, I wasn't, you know, training and lifting with the same intensity. Uh, I wasn't uh, hitting my macros like on point like I normally was. Even content creation, all these things, I realized for me that I was kind of burnt out. So I took this past week and a half off to eat some extra food, take some days uh, of rest and not work out as hard, um, you know, not push myself so hard on the, the content creation, all these different things and let it flow a little more naturally. But what I realized is that I needed to take a break. So this video today is about sharing my own experience that damn, I'm not gonna lie, like taking three, four days off, eating some pizza, eating some ice cream, <laughs> you know, like not going to the gym, working out hard as shit. It, it feels like a challenge right now to get the ball rolling. I definitely lost some momentum and what I noticed in my awareness was this whole like, well, damn, I already, you know, started to eat some ice cream and pizza. It feels good. I might as well just keep doing this, right? Or, you know, whatever. I put out a couple of videos and, you know, all this stuff. And I look at my social media and I'm like, yeah, I kind of, you know, was doing some good stuff, but like, oh, whatever. And I was just aware of this old pattern of thinking, this old version of me to be like, well, that was good enough as if like I hit my goal and I'm nowhere near it, right? I'm literally just getting started. I haven't even been back into training and on the gym uh, for a full two months yet. So it's like, okay, that initial, you know, first two and a half months when I quit my last job and I was like, I gotta go all in on my training and everything. That motivation, that initial energy is done. And I went so hard that I needed a break, which is what that last break was. So now I think the maturity, the growth, and what I'm sharing with you in the message today as it's applicable to your life is that that initial motivation is going to go away. But what you've got to do is you've got to continue to move forward 
albeit initially when you you reboot i guess is the word i'll use it might not be as intense as that initial burst but screw it man even if it's not that initial burst it doesn't matter uh what matters is that again you just take a step forward in the right direction and that you know you're getting back on track um, because life is not perfect and your progress whether in fitness or anything else it's not going to be perfect uh, the new level of you will present new challenges and I feel like that is what's happening to me is that you know the new challenge and therefore the new level of growth is understanding that there needs to be a maturity within myself and understanding the process of success and, and accomplishing the goals that I want. And that maturity, the growth, the awareness, the lesson that I'm learning is that it doesn't have to look perfect um, in order to just continue to go. And as long as I'm doing these things and setting these foundations uh, as far as you know habits about creating content, about my workouts and all these things, and the structure is in place, I know that just getting kind of a step in the right direction will automatically start to generate momentum and a flow so I can get back in a rhythm and get back in that really feel good place of like really high energy, really high inspiration. But again, it ain't always gonna be like that. So if you're at a place right now where you're like, oh man, screw it, I already you know, started doing this, I'm just gonna go back to the way things were, you can, but again, what you've gotta recognize right now is that this challenge for you to continue to go, this is the test. This is a block that you get to overcome in order for you to grow into the next level of your life. So if you're plateauing with your body, this is something, you're basically at the point right now of uh, turning back or never looking back. And if you overcome this point, your body will change. So if you're plateauing, you're like, shit, okay, uh, what's happening is you're trying to hold on to the comfort zone the way that you work. If, same thing with any other goal. For me, again, personally, this is my block about, am I going to continue to create my business? Am I going to, you know, and the answer is yes. <laughs> am I going to continue to work out, get back on my macros, all these things and continue to see progress with my body? The answer is yes. Is it hard? Yeah, hell yeah. Again, that initial momentum is gone. So the message again, to bring it back around, it doesn't have to look perfect. And if you're being tested right now to see if you're gonna quit or continue, continue. Because this means you're close. You're close to manifesting what you want. This stuff is built over time. You know, nothing is built overnight. So there are gonna be many challenges. This is just another challenge to be able to get back on the wagon if you have fallen off. Do not give up. You've got to keep going. You're close. And the reality is, again, the bigger the challenge or the more you feel you want to go back to the way things were, the way you used to live, that is just a stronger sign to how close you are to what you actually want. So get back on the freaking wagon. Start making content again or, or start going to the gym or just have a good meal. Just take one step in the right direction. Tomorrow, take another step in the right direction. It's little by little, these things build up over time, and the next thing you know, it's like crap, I'm back on track and then some. So, do not give up and keep going. Uh, this is the sign, this is the message that I'm sharing with you that you clicked on this video and you needed to hear for a reason. And the reason is because I'm telling you, you're close to what you want. Do not give up, take a step in the right direction, and just begin to build the momentum. It's okay to take a break. You're already way farther ahead than when you started the first time. So now it's two steps forward. This might be the one step back. We're getting ready to go again, two steps forward. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.